So we get a stormy day in the review setup, and I think I might review a Unicron trilogy figure. So how about we take a look at the first and only eBay purchase that I have at this moment. Cybertron Red Alert. Now, I remember Red Alert from Cybertron because uh, when I was a kid, that was uh, that was a show I grew up with. I watched it uh, before I went to kindergarten every morning, and then they stopped showing it. I didn't pick up any of the toys because, you know, the movie line at the time had just come out. So, they didn't have any of the Cybertron toys. But, you know, a few years later, managed to find this guy on eBay for ten bucks. Uh, seven was shipping hand seven dollars shipping and handling, but it was worth it. Got it complete, got the instructions, got the little map thing, got all his accessories, figure, even the box. So whoever managed to sell me that, uh, don't know who you are, but thank you. I really appreciate it. Got that box on my wall now, it's a masterpiece. Masterpiece. So here is Red Alert in um, uh, his um, SUV mode. It's really more of a sports back, like an Audi R3. But it's a nice looking vehicle mode. Uh, it doesn't look like it has a lot of paint apps, but that's just because there's a lot of translucent plastic. So, you know, with translucent plastic, you gotta make it look like it's some um, uh, same part of the plastic since they're not inserts. So, you gotta dedicate some of the paint budget to making it look good and that kind of. You understand, this is it. Economy mumbo jumbo. So, we got two massive blue stripes on the front with some bronze headlights and got metal bumpers and fenders with some golden hubcaps. So, I guess he's a police guy in the hood? I don't know. Uh, nothing really around the back. I mean, you got you got the bumper and you got uh, what appears to be molding for the, for the tail lights and everything, but there's nothing painted. There's no rear window or anything. Uh, you do have the molding for the the cyber key slot, which is a uh, very very nice. You got the arrow telling you which direction to insert the cyber key. You got like little dots and vents and them uh, like like circuitry or wires like connecting to to his body. It's pretty cool. Got some hood vents. Uh, no one junk in there. I gotta get a toothpick get that out. That was there when I got it, as well as all the paint scratches and everything. You like see in the fenders and stuff. That's just it's been there. Got some translucent plastic for the um, uh, windshields, the windows, and the sirens. Now you may notice this conspicuous little blue hump right in the middle of the sirens. That's his head. And just due to how big his torso is when we get the robot mode, it can't compress any further, which kind of sucks. Because I really would have liked it if I could have gotten his head, you know, just jammed in there more, but no, that's about as far as it goes. I mean practically looking at you when you're driving. Like, it, it doesn't even cover his visor. I wouldn't have been just fine if it just covered his own eyes, but no. Eh. So, how big is he? Well, here he is next to a um, uh, deluxe that I'm pretty sure a lot of people have at this moment. Tent return blur. It's pretty big, but I mean, it is a little shorter compared to the little fast speedster. But, here he is next to R.A.D. Steeljaw. And, uh, Sunja is bigger, but a lot smaller, uh, lengthwise, so, he wins in one section and loses in another. Eh, that's just Steeljaw being small. So, what about gimmicks? He can roll, but that's not all he can do. Because you see, he comes with this. This is a cyber key, specifically, the Earth cyber key. Now, it's got a chrome sun being eclipsed by either the moon or the Earth, I'm not sure. You got the what looks like a key slot and some dials and venting and like metal plating. Only hint of chrome on the whole toy. It's right here. But it's very nicely done and actually isn't too badly damaged. I mean, yeah, you got a few little chips on these tips. That's that's about it in the back. D two six W. Now that is for the website that uh Hasbro had at the time, which of course is not there anymore. I mean, you probably just take search it up on TF Wiki or something. You'll probably have it there. Probably. Maybe. But, just insert it into the back. And, um... Back in there. Just... You can actually hold the cyber key in there if you get it in just correctly. Like, if you hold these down, just push it in. The buttons will spring it back. So, you can keep it in there without activating the gimmick. 
but if you want to activate the gimmick, just push it in. Eh. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes they both don't come out, but you get two guns popping out the side of the vehicle. I gotta admit, I really like the way this looks. I mean, just imagine, you get, you're, you're chasing a criminal, like, say, ransack or crumple zone. You know, plug this in, pull these out, and either stun them or shoot them. For a uh, police style vehicle, that works. That definitely works for me. So, why don't we get this guy transformed and see what's his robots mode all about? Did I really just say robots mode? Ugh, man, it is late when I'm recording this. It... Yeah. So, let's get this guy transformed. Start in the front. We're gonna come under the um, uh, hood of the vehicle, just under the front section of the chassis. We're gonna pull out these black sections and fold them forward. These are gonna form the front of his feet. And we're gonna fold these sections out, form the rear of his feet. We're gonna fold the wheels inside of the cavities where these things were. And you're probably wondering, if these are the rear of the feet, and these are the front of the feet, how are you going to get them into one foot? Well, it's simple. You know, unpick this section, fold that down, unpick this section, fold that down, and you will see they are on two separate struts. These struts are going to line up, and then the lower sections are going to tap in place quite loudly. It's not always going to happen, it just depends on how you have things lined up. Split them, and look. You got legs. And resulting in one of the weirdest Gerwalk modes ever. So, we're gonna come to the back where the cyber key gimmick is, and we're gonna unpeg this whole section. This is gonna form his backpack, so we don't need to touch that for a while. So, we're gonna move the arms up, and I just wanna point this out right here. These are translucent plastic. So that means the ball joints that the arms are connected to are also translucent. And, uh, I mean, ten years, it hasn't gotten too bad. They're a little bit loose, but I found an easy and simple, cheap way that you don't have to worry about floor polish or nail polish or anything like that. Just get a just like really tiny piece of paper, crumple it up into a little ball, and then stick it in the socket, put the arm back on, it'll tighten up. And, uh... Yeah, so just fold down the crotch armor, and we're going to extend the arm and the hand, or what would be the hand if that wasn't a blaster. Now, this is my least favorite part of the transformation because... Why do you use translucent plastic for hinges? This stuff is like the most brittle thing in existence. The worst thing to use for a toy, like translucent plastic hinges. So I'm just gonna pull the head up, and it's easier to do it when you don't have the backpack locked in place, although you could do it if, you know, you like that. So this was the groove where the hinge section, right here, lied in vehicle mode. There's another groove like that, right there. You're gonna move this up, and then you're gonna fold down, and it won't, it'll friction in place, it won't tab in anywhere, but it's solid enough of a connection that you're not gonna have to worry about it coming loose. So after all that, you got yourself a red alert. Now this red alert in fiction is not the paranoid um, uh, uh, sideswipe looking guy. He is a uh, very, um, uh, he's still by the books, so it's still somewhat red alert, but this is more um, uh, red alert and proud, just kind of mushed into one. So, size comparisons. Probably want to know that. Here he is next to Blur. Blur towers over him. Alright, well maybe I'm just using a figure from... Uh, maybe Blur's just really big. Here's Steeljaw. Steeljaw. Makes Red Alert look short. Yeah, that's the issue with this guy. Even in Cybertron, this guy was pretty short. Like, he's Prime Rumble sized. Actually, I think Prime Rumble's actually a little bit bigger. <laughs> kind of think of it. <laughs> Uh, uh, it is really late, so let's take a look at that head. Uh, kind of, if I can get my lighting on it. Yeah. It's about as good as I'm gonna get it. Kind of looks a bit like a, a bit like a Robocop. 
I mean, face it, you got the helmet, you got the visor, you got the exposed mouth that kind of looks like flesh in there with that gold paint. Yeah, this looks like Robocop. <laughs> I mean, he is a police guy, he's already by the books. Hey, he's disobeying orders, so I guess he's already like half of the way there. I like how the sirens are on the shoulders, just like shoulder pads. You know, that always works. So, paint detailing. What have we got about that? If I can get my camera to focus. Uh, we got some gold patches on the shoulders. You still got the paint on these sections. Uh, got some more gold. Well, actually, you got the more bronze color of the headlights that are on right here. You got some blue. Surrounding his Autobot symbol, which is a little bit scratched up, but eh, I'll give it a pass. It's old. It is, wasn't really mine. And, uh, yeah. But surprisingly, if you look in the back of his legs, you get this little gunmetal strip. Now you're probably thinking, oh, there's just wrist paint. Alright, then why is it just on the line and not anywhere else? And why is there two? Yeah, so that's just a little unnecessary paint detail that they slipped in. It, it's really not important, but it's nice. Now, for mold detailing, it's not uh, super heavy. I mean, most of the stuff is from vehicle mode, so you've pretty much seen everything. But you got some, like, lines and panel details. I mean, the legs in particular, um, uh, you got, like, wires and um, uh, gears and stuff like that. And then you notice he's got what looks like uh, two pieces of a grill on his chest. But his chest wasn't formed from the grill. In fact, his vehicle mode didn't have a grill. Yeah, that's because that's referencing his Armada toy, whose uh, chest was formed from the front of the vehicle. So, for features, uh, well, let's get articulation before we go cyber key. The uh, head, it's on this level. It's got full exorcist movement, so you got that. Ball joint in the shoulder, a little bit limited. I if you got it like this, but it'll pretty much do all the poses you, you'll need it to. Uh, 90 degree elbow, no bicep, no wrist, obviously. Well, that is, you don't have the attachment on this. Uh, cross plate can fold up to about here, although I think that it's best if you keep it like this, because you still get full movement, but it doesn't look too bad. Speaking of which, you got uh, 90 degrees forward, uh, not so much backwards through the kibble. And it can move outward about that much without the leg interfering, or you can get it further if you just move it forward a bit. And it almost 90 degrees in the knee. Which, on their own, they're not bad. But combined, he's got Energon hips. Which, uh, kind of affected, uh, it's, it's kind of like blurish shoulders. It's a re-universal joint in the hip. Because it's like a universal joint, but the joints are reversed. So, the swivel's on the outside, and the hinge's on the inside. Instead of the normal, which, uh, like a ball joint. It's like this joint right here. It's said hinges and swivels. So, features. Still got the cyber key. Just plugs into his butt. And you get over-the-shoulder cannons, which... Let's face it, if you shove the key on my butt, I'd probably pull out guns on you, too. So, yeah. They do kind of get lost, though, with the fact that he's got massive panels and just two little guns that are just sticking over his shoulders. They're the same color as his shoulders. But, you know, they do fold away, and if you don't want to lose the cyber key, you can just keep it in that slot, and just whenever you want the, you know, boop. It doesn't interfere with transformation either, but he's got other features. You can pop open his legs because, you know, look at how thick these things are. Of course, they're going to have stash chasms. Just pop those up. And these are translucent, but they're thick enough that I'm not worried about them breaking. I mean, these hinges are pretty thick, but it's just, they're tight. Well, these things are pretty loose without having any cracking on them, so I like that. So, what do they got? Well, they got a little hammer that looks like some kind of grenade from Fall of Cybertron. And he's got a little claw. So, they got a little uh, hole in the bottom. That can plug onto his gun hand. And you can either give, give him a hammer for, you know, thonking dudes on the head. Or, you know, like, fixing dents or building, I, I don't know, like, helping build the base. Even though he wasn't on Earth when they were building their base. Or, you can put in a claw for more delicate procedures, like fixing up hotshot. Or, um, uh, doing minor repairs to circuitry. 
you know, just pinching someone on St. Patrick's Day. So yeah, that is Cybertron Red Alert. He's a pretty good figure. Uh, he's not the best in the Cybertron line. There are better figures out there. And if you want this guy, I'd get him, but I wouldn't pay too much. Like, 15 is probably the highest I'd go. 20 if, if you really, really want him. But he's nothing special, and there are other repaints. You got Bakon repaints, and you got Cannonball, which was still from the same line. But it's a repaint that everyone loves, so if you want this guy, but... You know, you, you want some more color variants and more Decepticons in your collection. Definitely go for Cannonball. But, Red Alert, on his own, he's not bad. If you want to complete the cast in the show, you need to get him. And, you won't regret it. I quite like him. So this was Nightburner 53, taking a look at my first uh, Cybertron figure. First Unicron trilogy figure. I will try to get more. I don't have any more at the moment, but I'm currently keeping my Iron Armada hotshot. So, just... Prepare yourselves for that. That's going to be a fun one. Ooh, is that going to be a fun one?